We are an Austrian and UK based company. We call ourselves the mortar company, so the focus of our activities is mortar weapons and ammunition. We are very happy uh, that we could announce yesterday a cooperation between Hürtenberger and ST Engineering from Singapore, where ST Engineering is providing um, the um, semi-automatic uh, recoiled 120 uh, weapon system, mortar weapon system. In the cooperation we will add the ammunition and the fire control system uh, so that we have a unique opportunity for European customers. This unique, uh, this unique opportunity is actually comprised out of a very high rate of fire and precision of the weapon. In addition to the um, very precise ammunition we have provided, um, including the fact that the ammunition is qualified in Europe already. This combination uh, is actually unique and uh, will give customers uh, in Europe, and the first cooperation is based on European um, companies, will uh, give a, a new um, link to the market and I think we'll be quite successful with that one. The approach we have is that we're independent from an, a specific vehicle manufacturer, so all customers can um, provide vehicles out of their fleet. The advantage of the system, as it has a very strong recoil force, is that you can also operate it from 4x4 vehicles, but of course also 6x6 and 8x8. The Hüttenberger product portfolio on ammunition uh, comprises actually all typical types of ammunition you need. Um, we have the high explosive, uh, we have the smoke and we have the illumination. On the smoke we have all standard agents, so white and red phosphorus and also TTC. For some specific customers we also could do TC. And on the illumination, we have the illumination displayed here as a visible, visible um, illumination round and we also have infrared um, illumination rounds. On the high explosive, we have a new development, what we call contract controlled fragmentation, what give us the opportunity to increase the lethality by 100%. We have uh, recently tested that and um, have the validation with customers and the validation with partners that we really can significantly increase the lethality. This counts for the 120 where we have done the latest trials and we have it available for all uh, calibers uh, we're actually providing. Here we have the 81mm mortar system. Um, the weapon as we have it here is, as you see, um, as a standalone with a base plate version. Uh, what is a very successful weapon and introduced with several countries. And behind me you can also see our range of ammunition. Uh, what we have uh, for all calibers available is high explosive, smoke with all agents and illumination. Here we have our 60mm uh, commando system, what is a well-established and um, combat-proven weapon system. And we have uh, increased the capability of uh, the commando system with what we call the GRAM. The GRAM actually is a great aiming mode, it's the digitization of a commando system. With the GRAM you give the commando motor the indirect fire capability back, so you can fire out of cover, um, above uh, or um, behind any kind of obstacles. The system actually has a sensor what is indicating where the barrel is aiming and with our fire control system we then um, get a good fire solution what you can um, aim on based on the device we have with it. This gives us a lot of opportunities. At first we have digital data of the weapon, the status and the fire solution. We have a wonderful training device because by using uh, the ground system in training um, environments we can track what what um, the, the students actually do and the uh, instructor can have a much more thorough review and we can link it to simulation systems so that we are going to be the first ones who are able to bring this weapon system into life simulation systems. The accuracy of the weapon and the, hand of, and the usability of the weapon by untrained personnel will be increasing dramatically so that the weapon effectiveness uh, by the use of, for example, infantry will increase significantly. 
I'd like to introduce you to Ian Garnett, who is uh, within our uh, group, defense group, responsible for our fire control system. And I would like to give him the opportunity to give you a short overview what kind of unique capabilities we have with our fire control system, ArcFire. Ian, please. Thanks, Karsten. So ArcFire provides the fire direction command and control system for artillery and mortars of all calibers. It also provides the digital links between all nodes, forward observers, commanders, fire direction centres and weapons, as well as providing the linkage to broader battle management systems, coalition fires and third party systems such as target acquisition devices like laser rangefinders, radars, acoustic sensors, as well as important artillery systems such as uh, meteorology. The software is very uh, modern, user, user interface is very intuitive, leading to very fast, very accurate, effective fire support. The setup that we have here uh, is our target acquisition device, which is the Mosquito Thermal Imager from Safran, linked to a Ford Observer computer, linked uh, by digital military radio to the uh, fire direction centre. In this case, this is for a 120mm uh, mortar platoon of six weapons, which in this case is the uh, SRAMs. So the data management is direct from our fire direction centre straight to the uh, mortar aiming computer on the uh, SRAMs. In this instance, we can link to the uh, laser range finder, fire, uh, fire missions direct from the forward observer's computer, all by touchscreen uh, interface. Selecting targets due to normal uh, STANAG procedures, or from the laser range finder or directly from the digital mapping. So we're creating the fire mission. It's giving all safety alerts, fire support coordination measure management. And then we're sending uh, that data through to the fire direction center. So it's received here, we action the fire mission. And you can see our firing data is now uh, predicted. It's giving uh, safety alerts. And then the data is transferred straight to the electronic aiming system of the SRAMs, which then brings the weapon to bear on the target. We're very happy to be again on the Eurosatory. I think uh, the first days were very successful. We're very happy with the appearance and the quality of the people and discussions we had. We're very happy to, uh, additionally to the display we have here at Eurosatory, to show customers in live demonstration the capability of the weapons and the ammunition. Also, uh, a live demonstration and live firing with our partner from ST Kinetics so that the SRAM can be shown with European ammunition on European European soil to really bring mortars forward for the future.